All the correct roles have to play us with 100% chance, and one out of the three imposters is definitely a shapeshifter. Here's everything that happened so far. We don't know who are the engineers or who are the scientists, but we do have a suspect and that is Gray. So during the first round, Barahana reported our body and said that it was in the gap room, and according to him, Gray killed and vented. Now, we all assumed it was a shapeshifter, which is why up until now, we still haven't voted anyone yet. Half the lobby is dead, but we're also halfway done with our tasks. I only have one task left, but instead of completing it, I think I'm going to watch camps for a while and try to catch the imposters in the act. Since Gray just entered the meeting room, I'd better focus on the cameras in the meeting room, records, and the engine room. I saw this sabotage coming years ago. If I find a body in the meeting room, then it's definitely Gray. Yeah, yeah, he's getting voted out. Like I said, during that entire previous round, I was only checking cameras and there was a lot of activity in the meeting room. No wonder Greg sabotage communications. But regardless, I had an intuition that maybe Greg killed somebody in the meeting room. So when I went there and found the body, I knew it was definitely Greg. Unfortunately though, we don't have any more suspects right now. So I guess it's back to checking cameras and security. Two hours later. So while I was camping in security, Maroon killed me and it took a while for the crewmates to find my body. But finally, when they reported my body and through the process of elimination, they all decided that Maroon was the imposter. They got him voted out and now let's move on to the imposter round. All the roles have one player with 100% chance. There is one imposter with a kill cooldown of 45 seconds. So this game is going to be really long and therefore there will be no commentary for the imposter round. Pink, even though she was speaking in Spanish, claimed that she saw Lime kill. Now, I'm normally not into voting crewmates if chip chips are on, but it seems that she was right about Lime, so I guess she's trustworthy. So, all the roles have a 50% chance. There are 6 engineers, 6 scientists, 15 guardian angels, and 2 out of the 3 imposters are shapeshifters. Maybe. Now, I think we're going to win this game by a task queen. The imposters have a 45 second kill cooldown. I've previously talked about this issue and as you guys saw in the imposter round, I didn't provide any commentary because the game was way too long. I understand the argument that the airship is a really big map, but 45 seconds is still way too long. And even if you prefer putting, it, putting the kill cooldown on 45 seconds, you could at least increase the number of tasks. Like I said, if we're going to win this game, we're going to win it by a task win. Two hours later. Two rounds have passed, three people died. I just saved you six minutes of your life. You're welcome. So, Purple claimed that she saw Brown kill. Now, shapeshifters are on, and I was a little bit skeptical on whether it's actually Brown or not. I even defended him during the last meeting, but Brown did not um, have an alibi. So we voted him out, and not surprised that it didn't turn out to be brown because shapeshifters are on. But there's nothing we can do. Luckily though, there is only one imposter in the game. So if you focus on our tasks, we should be fine. A few moments later. 
So why just killed me a few moments ago and I have the last task that will win us this game. Like I said, if we continue this game, it's going to be through a task win. So please, to anybody who's watching this, don't make 45 seconds on the kill cooldown. Also, consider watching the video on screen right now for more chaos. See you next time.